previously on Scary Survival. Here goes nothing, guys. In three, two, one. Down into the abandoned grave, the belly of the beast. What in the world? Oh my gosh. Anything? Oh, guys, look! Something's coming! The end! It's opening up! No, it can't be! No, 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 no! That's corrupt, Steve. That's get the get the classes going like that! We should work together. What's up guys, EY Stream here with another episode of the Scary Survival Season 2. The first episode of our brand new partnership with Corrupt Steve. Where he isn't trying to kill us, not because we trust him or that we particularly like him, but because only by working together will we have a chance in saving Test Steve and saving Minecraft. Now, Corrupt Steve has been locked away in this cave for quite some time and has no idea what has been happening. So I've tried to update him with everything we've learnt and discovered up until this point, including that Test Steve and the scientists are alive and working for Hades, the development of a giant Corrupt Steve 2.0, and the reality that we're stuck on this island with absolutely no idea where to go or what to do, which is a real problem to save it to Steve if we can't even find him. However, Corrupt Steve claims that he has the ability to create corrupt portal black hole thingy-mabobs through a game-breaking Minecraft glitch, which we know he can do because we saw him do it back in season one. And if he can do these black holes or portals, then we could use them to travel anywhere we needed, including to save Test Steve. And that's what we're doing in today's video. So Corrupt Steve, I really hope you weren't lying to me because everything we need depends on you right now. How do we do this? He's pulled out a sign, guys. What is he saying? Follow me. Follow Corrupt Steve. Where is he taking us? There isn't much else in this cave, guys. It's do we need to leave? Do we need to be on the island surface or something to create portals? Or black holes or whatever you want to call them? I don't know. Where is he taking this? Guys, I still feel very uncomfortable about trusting Corrupt Steve. Wait, this door? It's locked off the... He's breaking it? So there are things hiding behind these doors, guys. Where is he taking us right now, guys? That looks very dark and spooky. Do we follow him? Do we trust him? Oh, we don't have a lot of other choices here, guys. Right, here we go. Please, though, guys. He could turn around and kill us at any moment. So I need you guys to drop your support right now so that I stay alive and that he doesn't betray us by leaving a like right now. One like equals one luck. And we're going for 10,000 likes on today's video. Make sure to subscribe. Hit the bell. Ding, ding, ding. For more episodes like this. And, of course, if you have no idea what's going on, who Corrupt Steve is, you can watch the previous episodes by hitting the little eye in the top left or right-hand corner or the link in the description below. But we better keep up with him guys where is he what is he wait what is what's this what is this oh my gosh what is this place guys are you seeing this right now are my eyes deceiving me this is simultaneously magical and really spooky this entire library thing i don't know what it's supposed to be it seems to be totally in ruins and shambled totally abandoned has been hiding underneath this village the entire time? What knowledge, what powers, what things could be hiding in this place, guys? Is this why there were so many defenses of the grave? To stop us from discovering this place? What else do you reckon are behind those doors, guys? What has Corrupt Steve been doing here? I don't believe that he made this, guys. I reckon that this is related to some ancient civilization or something. No way Corrupt Steve made this. He's just found this place, guys. Look, we, okay, we need to look around right now, guys. What is this? Are you... Guys, oh, I, uh, this is amazing. There's like an infusion altar down here as well with a runix matrix, but that isn't like any runix matrix we've seen before. This looks very different, and it's like got like sparks and stuff around it. This is very strange, guys. I've never seen anything quite like this 
Which is saying a lot, considering we've seen a lot of stuff in this world, guys. Look at this place. This must be right under the ocean. And so there's like bits of water leaking into here from above? Who built this? And what for? And why? Ooh, oh, we gotta be careful, guys. The floor is ruined right here. This place is falling apart, so it couldn't have built, been built by Corrupt Steve. That's just not possible. This place looks like it was built much, much longer. Like, much more in the past. Much more before Corrupt Steve would have come here. Look, there's giant broken bits out of the roof here. It's falling to bits. Who built this and why? I honestly don't know, but I'm, I'm getting off task here, guys. We need, we're, we're here for a reason. Corrupt Steve brought us here to teach us how to create black holes that will teleport us around the Minecraft world through a, through a glitch. That was it. So, wait, Corrupt Steve, how are we doing this glitch? Wait, oh, he's already writing something. This glitch is very tricky and hard to pull off. Oh, I don't like the sound of that, guys. That sounds like a lot of things could go wrong in today's episode, which you guys are not going to want to miss. Make sure you're sticking around for all of today's video here, guys. But it's hard to pull off. How do you do it? What makes it so hard, Corrupt Steve? It requires you to be crushed by blocks faster than the world can generate? Huh? Crushed by blocks? Are you insane, Corrupt Steve? If we get crushed by blocks, it's called getting suffocated. We will die. We won't have oxygen to breathe. And our little Minecraft bodies will be, you know, literally crushed. Are you... That'll kill us. Won't it? It will if we don't do it correctly. I don't like the sound of that, guys. You're telling me if we stuff this glitch up, Corrupt Steve, we will die? Bro, if I die, we're going to end all the way back up who knows where... And I won't have any of my items, guys. We'll lose the scientist's notes. That is not something we can afford to do. It is much too valuable. If we do it right, we will be pushed into the void. Wait, what? Wait, what? You're telling me if we don't do it right, if we don't do it right, we're going to die. But if we do do it right, we'll be pushed into the void? Corrupt Steve, I don't know if you're up to date with, you know, how Minecraft works, but if we end up in the void, we will die regardless. There is no living, mate. I don't know, you might want to do some Googling and check, you know, the rules of Minecraft, the literal game mechanic. Wait, what is he saying? From there, you can teleport anywhere in the world? Uh, no. No, no, no. What? Do you know how the void- Won't we just die? That'll kill us. We'll die in the void. You won't be able to teleport around. That doesn't make any sense. Guys, let me know right now. If you've been to the void, which is the area below the Minecraft world underneath bedrock, have you died or have you lived? Have you been able to teleport places? Because I know I certainly have not. I think Corrupt Steve is just fooling around with me. He's trying to get us to go in the void so he can kill us. Maybe that's why. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever heard of this glitch that apparently allows you to teleport in the void, guys, because I certainly have not heard about this glitch in Minecraft before. Again, if we do it correctly, we will not die. No. Doing it correctly will push us into the void, like you said, and we will die because the void has no oxygen either. It'll be the same as getting suffocated by blocks, mate. Guys, I honestly think he's just messing with us. He's trying to trick us into believing this glitch will work. He just wants us dead. He's trying to kill us off right now, guys. You can do it with just sand or gravel, but it's much harder. Really? So I could do this in just any ordinary world. You're telling me there's a glitch where I can teleport around in Minecraft? That sounds like a fantastic glitch, except for the fact that if you do it wrong, you die, and if you do it right, you go to the void, which in my head equals death. So really, this just sounds like a bunch of baloney, guys. I'm not buying it. But since we are in the corrupt chunks, there is another... Another what? Safer way. Really? A safer way than sand or gravel, which I'm assuming will reduce the risk of death? Is that right, Corrupt Steve? Yes? So there's a safer way. So how do... What is this safer way? We need to know. I mean, it must be somewhat possible, guys. We've seen Corrupt Steve create black holes in the side of mountains or portals or whatever you want to call them and teleport to, like, the corrupt dimension and back and forth, things like that. If we wield that power, we could go anywhere in a split second, even planning perhaps an espionage on Hades' secret lair 
or even being able to jump back and forth from the Viz mines and get the resources we need, you can use your caster's gauntlet. I can? Really? This thing here, I can use this? But this thing just like shoots out flamey fiery ball things. I've only ever seen this used as a weapon. How can this be used to break Minecraft? How can this be used to create a glitch? I don't understand. This has only been used as a weapon. How else is this thing supposed to be used? What does it say? Like this. Huh? Like what? Oh my god! What is he doing? Corrupt Steve, what are you doing right now? You just standing? Is this supposed to be the portal of sorts? Wait, what? No, wait! Guys, it just closed in on him! The blocks just crushed him! Wait, we need to get him. We need to get to him right now. Wait, what? What's going What in the world? Wait a minute. Iron! This was not here a second! He just fired something to He's gone! He got crushed by blocks, guys! What in the world? Guys, Corrupt Steve just died! He just crushed. He, I don't know what happened, but he did something in the wall, and then suddenly the whole- Look, this whole place is filled in with blocks! Suffolk, he got crushed! He's dead! Are you kidding me? No, 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 no. He was going to- That was our only way off this island, guys. We need to know how to make those portal- But- He died. Maybe he didn't die. Maybe he's back in his egg thing? Is that what his egg thing's for, guys? We'll go check over there. I don't understand- What? Wait a minute, what? No way- he was telling the truth. He was telling the truth. He wasn't kidding. Even though he was crushed by the blocks, he lived. And then he could teleport. He was taken to the void where he was able to teleport. You were telling the truth. You can do, no way. So we can use this thing. Do I just, wait, wait, let me try here. That didn't do anything. Okay, wait, Corrupt Steve, how did you do that? I need to know. What is he saying here, guys? Use the scientist's notes to make a blank advanced focus? What in the world is a blank advanced focus? Okay, we're gonna have a look at the scientist's notes here, guys, and see whether we can find anything about it. Um, blank advanced focus. I don't see anything here. Plants, flux, warp, angry zombie. Maybe it's an auromancy here, guys. Do you see anything? Focus, focus. What was it called? A blank advanced focus. These all say focus on them, but none of them are a blank advanced focus. Split. Focus pa advanced foci? Could this be it? Advanced foci. Blank advanced focus. This is it. This is what Corrupt Steve was talking about. We need to make this apparently. What's the recipe? An ender pearl, a diamond, a blank lesser focus, and two pieces of quicksilver on an arcane infusion. Now, we saw the runix matrix up there, guys. So we could craft this, but where are we going to get these resources? I don't have a blank lesser focus, let alone... We've got a diamond, but I don't have end pearls or quicksilver. Ah... Uh... Corrupt Steve, do you happen to have any of these? Everything you need is in the chests. Perfect! Okay, that is that is the best news I've heard all day. We don't have to find anything. So like in here, what do we need? We needed uh, Quicksilver. We needed End Pearls. I knew that. And I think we need the Blank Lesser Focus. I don't know. We'll just take that anyways here, guys. We also need a Diamond and Quicksilver. That chest didn't have everything we need. Where else are we going to find items, Corrupt Steve? He's looking around over here, inside the barrels? Uh, not exactly what we're looking for, Corrupt Steve. I mean, there is food in here. Ooh, we could definitely use with some extra bread. So, I mean, we'll take the food, Corrupt Steve, but that is not exactly what I need. We need a diamond, I think it was, and two pieces of Quicksilver. Know why there might be hiding? This way. All right, hopefully Corrupt Steve knows his way around this place. But then again, he's probably been that egg for who knows how long. So, I don't know, honestly, guys. In here? We've got more ender pearls. I don't need more ender pearls, Corrupt Steve. I hope he knows what he's doing here, guys. I get the feeling Corrupt Steve probably has no idea what this place is or anything. He just found it one day and decided he was going to build his lair here. Maybe he has some other connection to it? In here? Diamonds? And Quicksilver! This is everything we need, I think. And Pearl Diamond, Blank Lesser Focus, and Quicksilver. That should be everything, right, Corrupt Steve? Yes, all right. So now that we've got that, guys, we all we need to do is chuck this on to the Arcane Infusion on the Infusion Altar up here. But will this work the same as every other Infusion Altar? Because, I mean, this thing's got flipping electrical sparky things around it, and it's got this unusual glowing... Like, this Runix Matrix is nothing like we've seen before, guys. Does this work the same as a normal infusion altar, Corrupt Steve? Yes? 
All right, we're gonna have to trust him here, guys. Let's have a look at this recipe. So we need to have a blank lesser focus in the center and quicksilver on the top of bottom. So we'll chuck the lesser focus in the center first. All right, we'll put that in the center. Hopefully this doesn't blow up. Okay, it seems to all be in one piece. And then we need to have a quicksilver here and then another quicksilver on the end there. Then if we open up the instructions once again, I believe it's just a diamond and an end pearl. Yep, on either side. So we'll go ahead and add those. All right, diamond, end pearl. We'll chuck the end pearl on this side, the diamond on this side. And that should be all ready to go. And so now what we need to do is hit the runix matrix with our caster's gauntlet. And that should work. All right, guys, let's hope this works in three, two, one. Did that do something? I think it's working, guys. Whoa, what in the world? There's like light coming out of the matrix. Guys, look, the bin is flowing into the infusion altar right now. And coming out from over here as well, it's flowing in. I think it's working, guys. Yes, yes, yes. Quick still is being dissolved. The end fell. The diamond, they're all getting sucked in. Come on. Yes, guys, I think it works. That's it, right? Wait, we gotta check, we gotta check here, guys. Is that what we needed? Yes, yes, we've got the blank advanced focus. All right, Corrupt Steve, I've got this. Now what do I do? Now, follow these instructions? What instructions? A book. He has his own set of instructions. Cast Projector by Corrupt Steve. So this isn't, normally guys, these things are created by the scientist. But this was invented by Corrupt Steve himself. Do we trust that? I don't know. I guess we've trusted the things of the scientist and she's evil now. So we don't really have a lot of other things to go on. And you can see his caster's gauntlet seems to be in one piece and not, you know, blowing up his arm or anything. So I guess we're going to have to trust him here. Black hole projector. Warning. This process is very unstable. Repetition of portal stabilization will result in leaking of corrupt viz. Oh, well, that's just pleasant. That just fills me with joy here, guys. This is unstable. Repetition of portal stabilization will result in leaking of corrupt viz. Okay, so here's what I'm learning, guys. We shouldn't put portals in the same spots over and over again, and we should use this very sparingly, because otherwise we could leak corrupt viz into the area, which while I don't know what that does, I get the feeling it just doesn't sound that pleasant. Okay, here's the procedure. One, stabilize a blank advanced focus within focal manipulator. Oh my god. That is a lot of huge words. Okay. I know what we made the blank advanced focus, but what's a what is a focal manipulator, corrupt Steve? A focal manipulator. I feel like we've heard that before, guys, but it doesn't ah somewhere in my distance memory I remember using one, I think. Maybe back in the early episodes? I'm not certain. What is he looking for here, guys? This? Oh, this, guys, this was back in the abandoned, in the first scientist lab we found in that abandoned village. She had one of these things. We used it to make our original caster's gauntlet. Okay, so we need to use this thing here, guys. What do we need to do in it, though? We need to imbue the focus with bolt corruption. All right, so we'll open this up, guys, and we need to put the blank advanced focus into here. Oh, my goodness, there's a lot of things. Uh, break, air, touch, projectile, bolt. Imbue, we needed to use bolt. Okay, so we put the bolt in there. Now what do we do here, guys? Let's keep looking. Imbue with the focus with bolt corruption. Then step three, imbue the focus with rift corruption. Okay, so we'll open this up and now we need to do what? Rift. Uh, do you guys see a rift? Earth, air, break, uh, exchange, fire, no, flux, frost, heal, rift. Shifts matter into an alternate reality, creating temporary holes which you can travel. That definitely sounds like what Corrupt Steve was doing, guys. We need to use this rift. All right, so we've done that. Now what? Is there another step here, guys? We need to four. Manipulate duration to four seconds. All right, so we'll go ahead. Duration. Do you guys see a duration buttons? Oh, here. Duration. Seconds. Four seconds. Okay, cool. And then what else do we need to do? Step five, manipulate depth to eight blocks. Okay, cool. Eight blocks. Uh, oh, it's already on eight blocks. We're totally fine there. And then what's the final step here, guys? Six, activate the focal manipulator. Should be pretty straightforward. We should just, how do we do this? Start crafting. I'm clicking the button, guys, but nothing's happening. Huh? Why? Wait, crystals required. One times potentia viz crystal and alienus viz crystal. I don't have either of those viz crystals. Do I? I don't. Ah! What are we going to do? 
Corrupt Steve, you don't so happen to have these crystals on you, do you? Wait a minute. Weren't they in... They were in these chests, weren't they? Oh, Ignis, Terror, that's not what we want, but I, I thought I saw them maybe in this chest over here? Alienus! We've got that, but we still need... What's the other one? It was... Wait, wait, we'll check the focal manipulator here again. We needed Alienus and Potentia. Over there, Corrupt Steve? Perfect! Alright, we've got Potentia, we've got Alienus. Exactly what we need for you guys, and so we should be able to open this up and just hit start crafting. I think it's working, guys! Look! The Alienus and Potentia Viz Crystals are surrounding our greater... There it is! What have we created, guys? What is that? I've never seen something quite like that. Alright, let's grab this here. Blank, advanced focus, bolt, and rift. Whoa! Okay, now what do we do with that? Seven. Apply the focus to the caster's gauntlet. Now, if I remember correctly, guys, we open up the caster's gauntlet, and to switch the bolt we're currently using in it, we need to do this. Okay, there we go. And now, look, guys, we can select here our brand new rift focus. Okay, we've attached it. So we've now got this, and we've got this rift. I guess we should test this thing out? I don't know. I don't really want to do it here, guys, where there's a ton of stuff. I'm worried this thing's going to explode in my face. Perhaps where we've got some empty space, like a nice open wall. Just somewhere we can test something, guys. If it explodes, it's not going to create too much damage. Maybe just here? I don't know. This seems pretty far away from everything else, guys. Let's give this a go. In three, two, one. It worked, guys. Look at that. We can now form our very own rifts in the space-time Continuum. I mean, it seems to work. Now what? Now, run into it with me and think where you want to go. It's that simple? I just have to think and my caster's gone and will know where to teleport me? I do not trust this at all, guys. But it seems to work for Corrupt Steve. At least it did. And I mean, there's a bunch of other crazy magic stuff which I've never seen in normal Minecraft before. So who's to say this can't work? All right, guys. I want to teleport to the scientist abandoned village. In three, two, one, bang! All right, follow Corrupt Steve. In we go, guys. Let's hope this works. Wait, we're getting crushed. We're taking damage. We are teleporting. This isn't working. 